I love cycle touring, even in wet weather. But look at this, it's atrocious. Who in their right mind would want to sit on this? But now you don't have to with an ultra lightweight backpacking chair. One piece of kit that I've used for cycle touring and backpacking over the last few years is this ultra light backpacking chair. They're fantastic. Now these are all over Amazon, the internet, eBay. So what you generally get is this uh, folding frame and this robust chair material. And uh, here we go, I'll put it together for you. So it looks like metal origami when you first open it, but you soon realize there's really only one slot that all the poles can fit into. So it only takes a few seconds to set up. And before you know it, you've got a chair frame just with a few rods and poles. It weighs nothing. So here it is on the floor, and the next job really is just uh, to put the chair material on. There's, it slots into each corner, uh, and uh, it takes a little bit of flexing to get them on, but uh, you can see here it's, it's no big trouble. So this has taken so far less than uh, all around about a minute uh, to put up. So even if you've stopped on your bike and there's nowhere to sit, you can just put this up really quickly. So there you have it, uh, a full-size chair that you can set up in a minute that weighs under a kilo. So let's take a closer look. So I've not only used this for uh, cycle touring, I've used it just if I'm taking my Brompton out, I'll put it in my rucksack, or uh, backpacking or hiking. It's light enough to do all those things. You can see here the material is really robust. Everything's double-stitched, uh, so it will last a long time. The poles are rated up to, uh, I think, 140 kilograms or something like that. You'll notice there is a little flaw here on the feet. They will sink into the soil in cold weather. So I use some uh, milk bottle tops, the plastic ones that you can get in the UK or uh, that just stop them from sinking. You just put one under each foot. But though the poles are light, the frame's robust and uh, it feels sturdy and it definitely doesn't feel cheap. So all in all, uh, it's a very good design. So let's see how this thing feels. Well, I'm a sprightly 80 kilograms and this thing is going nowhere. And it's comfortable, you can sit back and relax. So let's see how this thing actually folds up. So you just unclip the corners, and then uh, the poles just fold down and align along the central pole. Uh, and it's really easy. It's, there's not a lot that can go wrong. And uh, uh, they're joined again by this elastic cord uh, so that uh, everything stays in the right order. So just putting that to the side, I'll just roll up the chair fabric now. The chair size is quite, uh, sorry, the pack size is quite generous, so uh, it, everything tends to go in pretty easily, and that's important if you're going to do this multiple uh, times uh, a day. And it all fits down into a really neat packet. So this is small enough to go in your rucksack, or uh, I think I've got my Brompton behind, and I've got a bag on the front. You can just take it anywhere. And as I said, it's under a kilo, so it's uh, it's great. So there you go, you can just uh, stick it in your bag and off you go. Uh, the cheapest, I've had a quick look on Amazon, the cheapest you can get this at the moment is about 16, 17 pounds. They're generic, you can get them anywhere. And uh, I'm going to get back to pretending that I'm enjoying sitting out in this cold, wet weather. No, I'm going in. So this is one of those pieces of kit that I didn't really knew I needed until I had it, but now I take it anywhere with me when it's wet. I would give this uh, a B plus. It's only really let down by the feet that might sink into wet ground. Watch out for the next Bikeonomic video and of course subscribe if you like these and watch out for the next video. Thanks for watching.